just don't have a lot of time and I'm gonna do another video this week but um, I wanted to bring some awareness out about the stranger things and um, I put something up on Facebook about it because I started watching season four we watched season one and two and it you know it's sci-fi and you're looking at that kind of thing but this one is deeper it's darker uh, I'm just trying to educate you okay I'm just trying to give you understanding and help you see um, some things I'm not trying to convince you I'm just trying to, to educate you I'm just trying to give you some insight about kind of what we're up against right now um, there's been a lot of um, you know remember we talked about um, there were going to be giants that we have never had before there are obstacles there are things that are happening that we've never dealt with before so um, what I'm trying to say is you know darkness deep darkness is covering people things are getting darker uh, people are being influenced by the darkness God is still bigger okay uh, when the Holy Spirit comes when we have this powerful demonstration of God's power and it comes through fit prayer it comes through desiring him it comes through really wanting him to show up then he comes in power and um, and darkness flees light and dark can't coexist there's no way to coexist however we do have a, a challenge and that is that things are being uh, offered to our kids you know if Satan can't kill them in the womb um, then he's going to try and de um, deceive them or, or create a new um, uh, foundation for them culturally and so what I'm trying to tell you is that you know we started I started watching season four of Stranger Things I did this on purpose because I need to keep in touch with what's going on and all the places I go I need to have some knowledge but on the other hand you know, I wanted to see what the heck, what's going on here. And I mean, I wasn't even 10 minutes into it that I realized this is this is blatant witchcraft. And it's coming after the kids. It's all a, a, a fad. It's a trendy thing. It's something that you need to, you know, people will want to watch or whatever and binge watch. Um, so I'm just trying to help you so you don't have to. You can guard your own house. You can guard your own life. You can guard your own self you don't have to hear me do it you know I'm just trying to give you what I saw what I know and um, people were like well you know give me a for instance well okay a for instance is that you know a demon shows up in a house and uh, levitates a child and cracks its bones and eats its eyes out and then there's uh, blood all over the place so you know there's a for instance okay and when you got that kind of deep darkness um, going on you need to protect your kids from watching this kind of thing so that's why I did what I did that's why I put it out there because I feel like you know what we have to be I feel responsible to make sure that I'm communicating truth and I'm giving people what I what I know I do that with the adult convention when I go in there I do that with um, the pagan festivals and sorry <laughs> winds blowing and every place that I go I try and give you understanding of what's really going on in there so that we have a we know how to pray we know how to position ourselves and watch God move in okay so there you go we're going to position ourselves and watch God move in the reason why we talked about this um, on several meetings that I had recently that the reason why the kids are falling for a lot of this stuff is because they've never seen the power of God they've never seen it We've seen it. I've seen it. Tim's seen it. You know, my generation, we've seen it. We've been a part of it. We have watched God come in power. And he's coming again in power. And we need to realize that he's bigger than all of this, okay? If we, if we don't see that, we lose hope. We completely don't have any hope. So it isn't a matter of being afraid and being scared and being all that. It's just knowing that, that we've got a battle on our, on our hands. And the battle is that there's a whole huge push to try and recondition kids up away from the way that life is designed to be lived on planet Earth, okay? The way that God designed us to live. And it's a push to try and get the kids conditioned, to try and get parents conditioned, to dumb it down. It's a frog in the water. Oh, well, you know, we'll just watch. 
watch this and then they turn the heat up just a little bit and pretty soon the frog boils itself to death because it doesn't even know that it's being boiled, right? Because the heat goes up gradually. And that's kind of been the cultural norm for what's going on, whether it's porn, whether it's drugs, whether it's, you know, uh, all kinds of uh, Eastern mysticism and now this Native American drug that's hallucinogenic and oh, I've never felt such peace. Well, it's a counterfeit peace. Because God said, I will keep you in perfect peace when your mind is stayed on me. You can't substitute perfect peace for a counterfeit peace that comes with drugs. So I'm going to do a whole thing on that coming up. I know, right? It's like in your face. Well, that's just how it goes with me. So anyway, um, I wanted to tell you why I did what I did, why I put that out there like that. I just want to protect you. I want to give you the option. You can watch it if you want. I'm just telling you it's blatant witchcraft. It's all over the place and it's going to do some harm and it can create a portal in your home maybe um, of an opening for some nightmares and whatever else we don't need our kids conditioned like that so all right so um i just wanted to say and also happy memorial day um and bless you guys for fighting and we honor all the soldiers and all the people who went before us and to save our country and to fight for our country we're still fighting for our country you know that so anyway um, we love you guys, and I just wanted to give you that little tidbit of information. Um, I hope that you don't think that I'm beating you up. I hope you don't think that I'm trying to force my agenda or my conviction or my discernment or whatever was said in the comments. I hope you don't think I'm trying to do that. But I've lived a long time and a little bit longer than some of you, and I've seen a lot of crap. And I've seen also the, the tricks and the plans of Satan to try and compromise God's plan for people on this earth. So I'm going to do it like it or not lump it I don't care um, I'm not going to be silent about this kind of stuff it's just too important and especially for our kids my grandkids and their kids coming up so anyway um, I'm fighting I'm fighting for the kids I'm fighting for the generations I'm fighting for God to come in to deliver people and deliver us from evil that's what he said deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the glory and the power forever and ever. That is exactly what it is. So, all right, um, I will be on this again this week. I will do a video that's actually got, I can uh, have some scripture references with you. All right. Okay. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.